What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. July is here. I don't know if you guys seen this video, but I have a video back in January that I posted it up. It was a hunt update that I put up that I had I, I had researched elk hunting and I found out about a deer season in July. Well, it's here. It's tomorrow. Today is July 10th. Tomorrow is July 11th and it opens for archery deer and I am ready for it. I'm here today to get some last minute practice in before work. It is 12 o'clock right now, I believe. It's 11.50 right now and I work at 2.30. So that gives me a little bit of time. I just put the arrows together yesterday night around 12 a.m. So that was, I guess, today. And I gotta make sure they shoot correctly. So, just in true fashion, I will show you guys that my arrows, I build them basically all equivalent to being the same with each other so that they all shoot the same so i haven't shot these arrows yet these arrows are brand new to me i refleshed them um, i just put i put in new inserts and my arrow build this year is actually a lighter build i usually run about 450 grains well this year i'm shooting 370 grains or 380 grains uh 388.6 is what i came out with 388 388.6 so it was around there that's what i'm gonna be shooting 100 grain tips um, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna stick with smackers, but yeah, again, hunt is here. Tomorrow it is. So the next time you guys see me, it's gonna be on the mountain hunting deer. That's right, deer. It's gonna be. I hope velvet deer. I've never hunted this unit, never hunted this property, never hunted this area. It's gonna be me. And unfortunately, the place doesn't open, so you can't go do pre scouts until it opens. And once it opens, I guess. There's no more, no such thing as pre-scouts because if you're there, you might as well hunt. Um, I'm allowed to hunt pigs there. I'm allowed to hunt deers there. Anyways, um, <clears throat> I just realized I didn't do any update with you guys with my tags and everything. So unfortunately, I can't do elk hunting this year because I just started a new job. And obviously, when you start a new job, you know you can't take one to two weeks off to go big game hunting like elk. Elk hunting is out of the question this season. Next season, I'm going to try to do it talking to my cousin about it and we're gonna try to put one up um, in Arizona it's the closest state to us basically and it's only six hundred dollars for the tag over-the-counter tag so roughly you know you could you could you could do a DIY over-the-counter elk hunt so that's what we're planning on doing that's what I'm gonna plan on doing so this year obviously every single year first thing I buy is my pig tag I have my pig tag where I'm hunting on Saturday which is tomorrow I'm allowed to hunt pigs and deer so i have as always my d7 because the zone i hunt most of the time is d7 so i have my d7 general archery no general season tag here in california you can use your general season tag as your archery tag um, during archery season so that you don't have to buy your archery only tag so basically archery season comes if you're if you don't want to just hunt archery season you could just buy your general season tag which allows you to hunt archery season with archery gear only. So don't get that mixed up, guys. You can use a general season tag for your archery season, but you have to use archery only uh, gear. You cannot have firearms with you or anything like that. Uh, these are my general season tags. Obviously, the pig tag goes all the way till the end of the season. The deer tag only lasts till November. And yeah, that's my two general tags. This is my deer tag archery only which basically allows you to hunt any units that's open except the draw zones well i'm not 100 percent about that so don't quote me on that but it allows you to hunt almost all this all the zones and you know as long as you use an archery only tag you can do it so tomorrow i'm going to be using my archery only tag if i don't get a buck from there i'm going to keep hunting that spot because it's a new even though it's new it's it's a little more down in the valley but it's desert it's kind of like a desert place you know it doesn't have trees it's open fields so definitely good for spawn stock because it's wide open plains basically or wide open countryside so, so yeah these are my tags i only have three tags this year well i mean i have three tags for now but every time i get a pig i buy a new tag for a pig so we'll see how many pig tags i buy this season last season i bought four pig tags and i um actually tagged on all four of them uh, i'll put up a picture this was the last pig i shot right here uh, i shot it in may and she was a huge huge sow 
and uh, she she was fighting with other pigs. She was all tore up on her side, like it was all ripped up. I didn't get a video of it because I was actually out there doing a deer scout, and this happened in May or is it, I think it was in May or April. It was I can't remember what it was. It was really hot. I was worried more worried about ticks, so I wasn't really recording every. 10 minutes or so I would check ticks it was because of that scout that it told me the time to do permethrin so which is why I went and got my permethrin and sprayed all my clothes I uh, hope you guys saw that picture I don't have a video of it she was huge she tastes delicious and you know what I'm looking forward to doing it again it was a pretty epic scout I went scouting for deer I saw a small little pig roughly around 80 pounds and while I was making my way to that pig I got charged by her and you know it was up close and personal she came at me i shot her within like five to six yards she was super close but that's a story for another day if i have time i will explain the whole hunt for you guys not hunt the whole day for you guys but yeah for now i'm just here to give you guys a quick update i'm gonna shoot that hurricane bag i brought my 3d deer the sun disappeared it's kind of overcast today i hope you guys can see me uh even though it's super dark i can't see myself right now but yeah <laughs> The hunt is here tomorrow. I'm gonna do just a quick, quick little, I guess, afternoon session. I'm gonna set up my deer. I have my archery buck with me, and I'm gonna probably set her, set him up at like 80 yards, 70, 80 yards, just to practice shot. I'm not gonna try to hunt that far. I hope I can get a deer within 60 yards and take the shot. But yeah, here I go. I'm just gonna shoot that real quick, just for you guys. Um, again, I hope you guys look forward to the hunt that's coming up, and. Um, yeah, thanks, thanks for tuning along. If you guys been keeping up with me, thank you. Um, and if you guys haven't, well, check out some of my old videos. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. Uh, this season is gonna be a great season. I'm gonna do whatever I can to put two bucks down this year. I have a couple of bucks in mind, so we'll see how this goes. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna get to shooting. Hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video. Um, I'm gonna try to keep this clip short not too long uh, so yeah here I go so this is my setup right here I got my go tip 100 velo no, go tip velocities 340 this is set up with broadhead so I don't know if I'm actually gonna shoot this into that because um, this is what my arrows that I'm gonna have that's on my bow for the hunt tomorrow however I still have a bunch more right here so I got my go tip velocities and my vital impacts uh, I'm gonna switch these guys out to fill points and in true fashion I'm not gonna cut out any of the video I'm just gonna fast forward and you guys will see me shoot every all of this into that all right so I wanted to shoot all 13 arrows for you guys but I just found out I just realized that I don't have enough fill points I only have eight fill points with me so I guess I will only shoot my velocities uh yeah here we go eight arrows fresh build i have not shot these yet these guys are all fresh build as you can see i mixed up my veins i got red and blues red greens and blues for my hunting arrows so these four are the ones that i'm going to use to hunt they're all flesh with red blues and oh not this guy this is this way so yeah these guys are what i'm going to have on my hunting quiver and i got these four for practicing I got the green fletch with the white, red fletch with the white, yellow fletch with the white, and then I got all blue with the white. So those solid colors are gonna be my practice arrows. These three mix, no, four mix are gonna be my hunting. But for this video, I'm gonna shoot all eight of them. And uh, like I said, fresh build arrows, 23 grain inserts, 100 grain build points, total weight, 388. We will see what happens. It's a couple grains heavier than the vital impacts, but I'm pretty confident it'll only shoot a little low. Here we go guys, eight shots into my hurricane bag. Um, brand new arrows, freshly built, never been shot. 28 inch, 388 grains. Let's see how they do.
All right, guys. I didn't do as well as I thought it would. Didn't do as well as I wanted to. But you know what? For the first shots, it's not bad. I think I did pretty good. It's freaking hot. I'm sweating my butt off, and this is just the first volley that I shot. So again, this is 30 yards. Brand new arrows, never been shot. This is gonna be the first time they're getting shot. And uh, you know what? I don't think I did too bad. I did pretty bad. To me, I feel like I did pretty bad. It's probably one of my worst groups at 30 yards. Uh, let me just go and show you guys real quick. Again, I didn't, didn't want to cut any of this out for you guys. I want to guys show you in true fashion, uh, complete transparency besides the fast forwarding. Uh, but hopefully, to a lot of you guys, it doesn't look like I edited that part out. Obviously, I'm gonna edit it for the fast forward, but let me uh, lower my tripod real quick. Let me just show you guys that for now. All right, guys. So here we go. So this is my 30 yard shot. Uh, dang it. As you guys can see, aiming for the center point in the bag. I did pretty good. I would say it's probably like a four inch group, which is pretty bad because uh, typically what you want to do is if you're shooting 30 yards, you want your, inch, your group to be at least three inches. This is definitely a four inch group. This is my first shot and I completely missed the target as you can see. And then um, quickly realized what I did wrong. Didn't check my bubbler. My bubbler was definitely off when I I'm pretty sure it was off because I, I, when I thought back to it, the corner of my eyes, I could, I was pretty sure I saw my bubbler to the left, and lo and behold, I hit left. So yeah, not bad. 30 yards, fresh arrows, fresh build, go tip velocity, 340, 388 grains. Tomorrow, hopefully, I'm gonna do my best to put this arrow right here since it's the one that missed. If I see a deer, this is gonna be a bloody arrow. So yeah. I'm just kidding about that. <laughs> it's gonna, I don't know which arrow it's gonna be. They're just gonna be random in my quiver. Uh, but these blue and reds and greens are definitely gonna be the ones that I'm gonna be used for hunting. So yeah, that's gonna be it. Like I said, complete transparency. Um, eight arrows, first round volley, fresh build, first time being shot out of the box, fresh cut, fresh build. So yeah, there you go guys. I hope you guys enjoy this part of the video. Uh, I'm gonna shoot a little bit of 3D. Uh, continue to watch if you guys want to. Um, but this is going to be the end of this portion. Thanks for June. Thanks for tuning in. If you guys haven't already, subscribe. Uh, hit that like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so that you can see how my hunt went on Saturday. And I'm also going to do a Sunday hunt regardless what happens on Saturday. I am going to go back up to that same spot on Sunday with my cousin because um, he doesn't have Saturday off so he can't go with us on Saturday. But <clears throat> he does have Sunday off so me and him are going to go together again on Sunday. 